Welcome to this episode where we shall be looking at the location, windows, and uh, the time and date of windows functionalities. So, like previously, I promise we're going to be in the first video, I promise we're going to be setting our location to exactly where we are on the surface of the planet because it gives you exactly how your environment is. So, first of all, you have to go to this location window. So you have your location here. You can set your location from this side. So assuming that if I bring it, I click here, I click here, click here. What are you noticing here? Some parts on, of Earth are already sleeping, where some are in daytime. Like Australia are in their night time right now. Why um, America is in their night time also. Look at these regions, European regions. Look at Africa. How about Nigeria, my country? We are uh, in the daytime. And observe that as soon as you click it, the, some places around that location will come out so that you can maybe see your your place, your city, and you just click it. But I, don't, I want to do something else here. I want to change words. You know, you can change your world. Assuming that you are an astronaut and you travel to another planet and you want to still use Telerium, how does it feel? How would it feel like, um, let us change our location from Earth to, let's say, Moon or Mars or any planet we can see here. Look at Mars. Look at Mars. I look at the surface of, of, of Mars. You can change your location to any part. And even on Mars, there are some places that are night time and some places are in the daytime. Look at this part is on daytime. This part, this part is on the night time. You can also do that for the Moon. But see, these are the places that we know on Mars. These names, we don't know anything about here. That's why we don't have any detail. We haven't explored that. Okay, we, we know this place. So, here. All right, so we come here. Let's go to the moon. And let's go to the moon. Assuming that we are moon astronaut. Our moon, we're going to use Telerium on there. Look at the moon. At the moon right here. So this place are the the dark side of the moon that doesn't ever face the, the sun. And if you come to this part, you have daytime. This is the part that always faces the sun. So if you want to explore the universe while staying on the moon, you can do that right here. So this is very important for classroom lectures on how the universe works. I love Stellarium so much because it's one of the best software I've ever come across. Let's return to Earth because we are Earthlings. You can see other planet, but I want to return to Earth. So look at Earth. You know you can also change the location to the sea, assuming that you are in a ship, your astronaut are the at the pose of the Earth. This is how it feels like. Don't bother that the landscape hasn't changed yet because the landscape ought to change. You can do that separately by, you no, know, that's a place you can do that, but we haven't reached there yet. So, but just imagine that you are in a ship and uh, you are exploring, you're an explorer, and you want to use Telerium in your ship. You can do that. You can change the location to that place. So this is Nigeria exactly. This is West Africa. You can see so many cities in West Africa. Um, before now, I have checked and I, I couldn't find my location on here. So I can try this. I can try this region. I can try this region here. I can see West Africa. West Africa here. Then all the all the places in West Africa is going to come out 
and even upon that, I couldn't find my location. So what am I going to do? What I'm going to do is that I am going to um, find the location, the coordinate of my location, which includes the latitude, the longitude, and the altitude. So if you know the, if you know the, if you know these parameters about your location, you can just input them, and this thing, this point will just come and identify with where you are. But the most reliable means of setting your location is by using this get location from network. So, but before this thing can activate, you have to connect your connect your uh, computer to the internet. So, let me connect my computer to the internet, and when it is connected, observe what is going to happen automatically. This is going to just set automatically. Okay, let me just place it here and watch what is going to happen as soon as my data is turned on. It's just going to set because I have already text it to set from network. Let me make sure it is connecting. It is going to set and let's observe before it escapes our mind. So it's going to set. Let's watch. It has connected, so let's watch. It's going to set. Oh, look at that. Wow. Did you observe that? Automatically, it just what said. So like I told you before, I have done this before, and the, the location where I am right now is not here. So I can manually input that since the network has automatically set my location. So let me change here. What you have here is 10 and 8, just the longitude and latitude. But you can just uh, rename that to my location. I am in it. I am at Ibogidi. Let me change it. Ibogidi. I'm at Ibogidi. So I will say add to list so that it will appear here. Add to list. So this is my location. So I can as well make it as my default so that it stays permanent. So this is my location and look at it here. This is my location. It is zero meter to the actually this is I'm close to the sea. So this is how to set your location. You can as well delete it from the list. You can also set your location from GPS but Network is much better for me. So that is the end. You can close it from here after setting your location. And that's it.